brothers and sisters, in 1993, Pope John Paul II was visiting Denver, Colorado, where was the World Youth Day on a huge stadium. And thousands of young people came to see and Pope and listen to his teaching. And uh, thousands of these young people were able to see Pope's face on these huge screens. So when his face was zoomed, thousands of these people were able to see his face, Pope's face, uh, very close, like from close distance. They were able to see all details of John Paul II's face including tears in his eyes. Pope was moved uh, by a such great number of young people present uh, in, this, in this event. He was so happy because they accepted his invitation, because they came to listen to his message that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And one of the young men, when he saw Pope's face and tears in his eyes, was moved so much inside. He realized, and he said to, to others, nobody before, when I was in this stadium, uh, was looking like this man. Nobody had tears in his eyes because I came here to see him. Nobody expressed such a great concern for me. And this young man who was not really uh, spiritual or practicing faith, uh, he changed his life. He became a very faithful person. My dear friends, in today's gospel, we see Jesus uh, with his disciples and um, large crowds, vast crowds coming to him. And like gospel says, Jesus, uh, when he saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. All readings today, in fact, remind us that God is our good shepherd. And God is our good shepherd in many ways. He was a good shepherd to the prophets, uh, teachers, but he revealed his teaching in the perfect way in Jesus Christ, his son. So that's why Jesus' teaching is so important. Jesus' words are so important for us. And like gospel says, he was teaching them many things. But second reading, uh, St. Paul is like summarizing all Jesus' teaching uh, for, for us. <clears throat> and St. Paul is very clear that Jesus saved us. And he freed us from division and sin. And thanks to him we can be, uh, again, one person. He might create in himself one new person in place of the two. This is all about divisions in our hearts. But also uh, in this world. Sin always brings division. Evil brings division. In Christ, we can remove this division and be one together. And especially last, last months, last years, we experienced such a divisions, divisions, separ being separate from each other. Christ's teaching is different. We should be united, we should be one. He came and preached peace to you who were far off. Through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. 
And this is the second thing, peace. Jesus' message is all about peace. Do not be afraid of anything or anybody. Because through him we have access in the spirit, in one spirit, to the Father. My dear friends, God is our shepherd all the time, like centuries before and today. And God is using also man to, be, to, to fulfill his mission in Jesus' name, in the church and not only in the church, also in many other ways. And what is interesting uh, from the first reading, the prophet Jeremiah is saying about bad shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pasture, says prophet. And he is condemning these bad shepherds. But at the end, he is speaking about the positive thing. Even we do have Bad shepherds among good shepherds, God will take care of it. He says, I will bring them both back to the meadow. They, they shall increase and multiply. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot of David. This is the prophecy of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we need shepherds because we don't know everything in many small things and especially in the spiritual things how many times we ask somebody right where is something where is my direction and somebody who knows can be helpful for us but in a spiritual realm uh, it's very important and danger to have good shepherds because nothing changed like prophet Jeremiah uh, who was living uh, seventh century before Christ he was speaking about bad shepherds the same thing is today we have a good shepherds but also we have bad shepherds and we need to be concerned we need to check because danger is very serious. And we need to uh, compare the teaching of every shepherd to the gospel. If there is something contrary to the gospel in somebody's teaching, that shepherd is bad. We need to follow the truth, the gospel truth, not the office, not the person. Brothers and sisters, uh, I think this teaching of St. Paul, uh, the summarizing, should be helpful for us. A division and fear that we experienced and we will experience again. This is not the end. So when we heal, will hear again about fear, the next one is coming and I assume is will be about natural disasters, climate change. That will be the fear, next one. We should not allow to be afraid, to be scared by anybody. We should keep peace, which comes from Jesus and his Father. My dear friends, as we came here today to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us imagine Jesus who is teaching us about this peace, peace and unity. Let us imagine his face and tears in his eyes. He loves us so much and he cares so much for us. Amen.